They say those who build data centers with glass ceilings shouldn't throw server racks, or at least I'm sure that's the saying. G'day mate and welcome to Capital Industry with me, JD. Today we're going to be covering, well, data centers. Data centers, server racks, microchips, electronics 3, all those sorts of things. At the same time, uh, I am going to remind you guys of a couple of things. One, I'd like to borrow a like. I'd like to borrow a like. I'd like to get that over and done with early in the video. By all means, I'll remind you later on in the video. If you didn't find the video in informative, you didn't find it helpful, I will remind you guys you can have your like back. At the same time, I will remind you there is a playlist down in the description below, also pinned in the comment section. If you're looking for more Captain Mr. tutorials, if you could find some way to improve your game, if you're having issues with death spirals, have a look at that playlist. You might find it helpful. A couple other things I do want to remind you is uh, this this channel. This channel, we're trying something new in 2022. We're trying to go community funded. Community funded, rather than me filling videos full of mid-roll ads, which nobody enjoys, we're trying to move over to something a little bit more user-friendly user-friendly uh so i invite you guys i invite you guys consider becoming a member of the community consider becoming a youtube member if you know where the like button is which we've already mentioned beside that is the subscribe button which i'm sure every content creator has told you about at least a thousand times right beside that is the join button for as little as a dollar per month you can become a youtube member get early access to videos also go a long way towards supporting this channel and making sure we don't have mid-roll ads. Don't forget, starts off at all of one buck per month. Last thing I do want to remember, uh, remind you guys is there is a, a bunch of time codes down the bottom, uh, a chapter list, chapter list, so to speak. So if you've got to come back and rewatch this video for any such reason, you can jump forward and backward throughout the chapters, hopefully find the little bit of information you're looking for. But with that out of the way, first thing we need to do is we need to actually talk about research. Research, there are three researchers that I really, really recommend you grab all three at the same time. Don't start building anything until you get all three of them unlocked. One is going to be computing. Computing is going to give you access to the data center. Also the maintenance depot at level three because the data center requires maintenance three. Also going to get you access to the water chiller, which is required for the data center. Next thing you're going to want to grab is you're going to want to grab the uh, construction four. Construction four is going to unlock the robotic assembly. Also a bigger and better concrete mixer. You might want that. You might not want that. Don't worry about building it just yet. I'll save that one for later till you have a decent amount of, well, teraflops, construction parts and all the other things we're going to be talking about today. Uh, uh, lastly, you're going to want microchip production. Microchip production is going to let you turn silicon po uh, poly into silicon wafers. Then you can convert your wafers with a microchip machine uh, into eventually into microchips. Now, you need to take your wafers and you need to wash them with acid and then clean them off well. Well, uh, clean them with acid and then wash off the acid with some water to get you from a silicon wafer to a microchip stage 1A. And then from a 1A to a 1B is going to require a bit of copper to put in some traces with some plastic. And then, of course, the 1B is going to require a little bit of gold because gold traces work way better than copper traces, which will get you to 1C. And then 1C is going to require another acid bath with a wash off of water to get you to a 2A. And then a 2A requires more copper with more plastic to get you to a 2B. And 2B requires another layer of gold to get you to 2C. 2C requires acid water to get you a 3a 3a requires copper and plastic to get you 3b 3b requires uh, another layer of gold to get you 3c 3c requires more acid more water to get you to 4a 4a requires copper and plastic to get you 4b finally 4b plus some gold will get you to microchips which is going to be the point of today's video i want to show you guys how to get microchips using the limited resources that you found on the map by looting pirates and looting different world maps zones uh also with a touch of trade to probably you know supplement your income for a little bit so with that out of the way we need to talk about what we're going to be building step by step first thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to get whoop thanks autosave uh we're going to want to get a an assembler on the map okay now microchips which you should have found from looting on the world map can only be converted into electronics three with some electronics two so you're going to want a machine building that now your microchips as i said they only go to one place i have found 308 by looting the map well 333 according to that so by all means build a box fit it into this machine one thing i also recommend is turn on truck import and export with truck import and export on as you can see it's going to eat in extra materials it also means it will buffer up extra electronics three on the output next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start converting some of your electronics three into servers you're going to need servers for an upcoming step so you want to get this assembler up and running it too at the same time turn on truck import and truck export again it just means they're going to be able to bring over extra amounts of steel along with extra amount of electronics 3 that you found on the loot uh, on the world map and you've looted to convert to servers you will have a certain amount of servers already from the world map 
in the way of loot, which is good because you're gonna need them in just a minute. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to get up and running is gonna be the Maintenance Depot 3. Maintenance Depot 3 is gonna give you, Maintenance 3, by all means fit it into your mechanical part, um, Mm, belts, belt lights, belt lights, belt lights. But uh, do not put all your electronics three in a box and feed them into this machine. It will tie up your electronics three, which honestly you're gonna need for other things. This is gonna use four electronics three to make 120 maintenance three. 120 maintenance three will last you a very, very, very long time. So by all means, hook it up to the mechanical, the recyclables if you want, but just have the trucks bring over the electronics. Next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get a data center. Now this is gonna be the first place we're gonna be needing maintenance three. As you can see, it's gonna start costing us about three, uh, three maintenance three already, which is gonna put some sort of draw on this machine. Don't forget, we get 120 for four parts, which means each electronics three is worth what? 30, 30 maintenance three. So it's going to take a good amount of time before you start burning through your electronics, but it's something you need to keep in mind. You also need electronics to get this machine up and running. Oh, oh, I should talk about one thing really quickly. If, if you happen to be um, one of the poor souls that went to your shipyard and deleted your uh, microchips, your electronics, or your serve, well, servers, uh, because it was taking up room in the shipyard and you couldn't unload the ship, um, you're going to have to start from scratch. To start from scratch, you are going to come into the trading menu, trading menu, and you're going to be doing this trade. In fact, no matter what, I do recommend you do this trade a fair bit. You should have a decent stockpile of gold at this point, and you want to start trading that gold for microchips. The more microchips you can get up and running to get more electronics free, to get more servers before you start this process, the quicker you're going to get into and through this stage of the game this this stage of the game is definitely going to slow you down due to some of the limitations the game's going to be adding and don't forget you can do two trades before the price goes up just do two trades just do two trades come back and check it in 10 minutes time see if the price has gone back down if it has do another trade okay with that up and running uh we're gonna get the data center up and running the data center with the glass ceiling uh because well you know Everybody is trying to break through the glass ceiling. Uh, maybe this one will. Okay. Uh, now, with the data center, we need to cool down the servers we're going to be putting in here. The servers we're going to be putting in here are going to give us access to a new resource, which is Teraflops, which we'll be using in a second. Now, of course, to get uh, the servers, keep the servers cool, because, you know, it's all full of uh, the brand new RTX 4090 Ti's, because... Mafi Games has um, got access to those, early access, early access, uh, to put them in the data center so we can teach the AI to search the internet for cat memes so we can have infinite amount of cat memes. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing in the data centers. They're not trying to mine crypto with it. Um, Yeah, th this is what the data centers are for. Uh, this is what your 4090 TIs are going into. They're making many, many teraflops of cat memes. We need to get in chilled water. To get chilled water, we get a new building under the water tab, water extraction processing, to take in normal water plus some power and get cold water. The cold water we're going to want to plug straight from A to B. It's nice and simple. Nothing too complicated. But our data center is going to output some not cold water. The not cold water we want to put back into this machine because, you know, we need to dispose of it somehow. Uh, so I really recommend you plug in things. Uh, I need to remove you one that way. Cool. Uh, something like this. And... Oops. Uh, get some clean water, but make sure you prioritize in from, well, the return from the data center. Now, with that done, we're going to now have some chilled water in the data center. With that done, we can definitely start employing some server racks. Now, every single time I add 20 servers to the data center, I'm going to get one basic rack. One basic rack is going to give me one teraflops worth of power. It's also going to start consuming a certain amount of chilled water and also increase the maintenance. Now, the more teraflops I have, the more advanced... Advanced assemblies I can use, and we're going to be needing a couple of them. Now, generally, also teraflops are used in sets of four. And from your services, servers you've harvested from the world map, you should have hopefully around about 300 of them. So you should be able to get up to at least eight to run two of the next machines, preferably 12. You should be very, very close. And if you have this machine running for a little bit, you should be able to get some servers saved up to get up to 12 teraflops worth of power, uh, worth of worth of computing power. Computing power. I'm going to keep saying power, but technically it's computing power. That will get you well on your way to the next step of the process. The next step of the process is, back in the research, it's going to be getting those construction uh, parts for. We're going to need those to unlock the next part of the process. Now, the next part of the process from here requires a bare minimum starting point 
of about 110 construction part four. As this guy needs parts three plus some electronics to get us parts four, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get that done if we need 110. It's going to take 55 minutes. I don't want to wait 55 minutes. So if I build two of these, uh, that brings us down to about half hour. If I have 12 teraflops worth of valve power, and assuming I'm actually feeding these guys, you know, the trucks will be along shortly. Uh, if I get three of these guys, that brings the power requirements, uh, the, the time requirements down even further to what? Mm, 20 minutes? 20 minutes, roughly? Um, 20 minutes in, in my box is definitely, uh, definitely viable, especially if I can get to that magic 12 teraflops worth of power. Uh, one thing I do want to do is storage. Can I get a nice big storage? Put you there. Uh, import off and i just want to make sure these guys output all the time because i want to have that power requirements on the computing all right one other thing i really recommend you do when you get these guys up and running is set their priority low okay as long as it's below 10 probably around about a 13 or a 14 it means if you run out of teraflops which we're probably going to do in just a minute it means these will have the lowest priority for bringing in more teraflops um we're not going to talk about how to make these because you know it's two belts in it's two parts you've already got it, it's pretty easy we are going to talk about microchips microchips is going to be the next one and they're a bit of a doozy there is um a few steps to going through and making microchips. Uh, the first one we're going to need is we're going to need to start making silicon wafers. Silicon wafers require in some silicon poly, which you have obviously dealt with at this point. They also require just a touch of water, just 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 a weedsy little bit of water, and that's going to give you some silicon wafers. We're going to want to get this machine up and running, but this is going to cost us our first thirty construction parts. Three. It's also going to cost another four teraflops worth of power, worth of computing power. So with you built defaulting to priority 10 means once the poly is delivered and the water is plumbed in uh this is going to take over one of these machines will stop what i want to do is i want to drop this at least down one level to priority 11. the other thing i want to do very very early on is i want to put a box on the end of it i want to start collecting the wafers that we're going to be making because this outputs silicon uh, six wafers per minute and we don't need six wafers per minute. We won't need uh, wafers at that speed for quite some time. But as we can see, we uh, already have an issue where one of these guys has stopped working because amount of teraflops. Now, if you've been lucky, if you've been working on making servers really well, you should be able to add some more servers to get a bit more computing power, a bit more computing power, keep things running. At the same time, um, you also need a certain amount of construction parts to get to the next stage of the process. So you probably want to do that and get some more construction parts running because the next step of the process, step of the process is actually making those microchips, actually using the 12 recipes required to make some microchips, which um, is going to be a giant pain in the butt. Uh, as we can see, each one of these needs four teraflops. And if I need 12 of them, I need 48 teraflops. That's a lot of flops. I need a lot of flopsies to get this up and running. Uh, my other option is I can build a slightly different build to sort of maximize one machine. Uh, it, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be a little bit interesting, but it's definitely something we could do. To do that, what I have to do is I have to take some silicon wafers in here. I would have to loop it through all 12 recipes and I would get out six microchips every 12 minutes because each recipe is normalized to one minute, which means um, it's going to take a while. It's also going to use another one of our, another four of our precious teraflops. It's something you need to keep in mind. But it would work. It would work. It would get us up and running. We'd be able to produce some amount of microchips, which of course we can run back in here to make more electronics, to run back in here to make more servers. To, well, if I can get six microchips, I can make six electronics three. I can take my six electronics three and turn to six more servers, which is another six teraflop. No, actually, no, it's 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 six servers, which is I need a stack of 20 to get another one teraflop. It's on our way. It, it, it's a start to the process. So uh, what I want to do is I want to do exactly that. I want to plan to have a machine because I can only support one machine. I'm assuming with the amount of teraflops I have uh, to do this process now. To do that, obviously, I want microchips, which means I want that recipe to be the highest priority. It's going to be the most important. Uh, to get microchips, uh, I will need the microchip 4B. To do that, that's going to be the next highest priority recipe. Okay. Then to get 4B, I'm going to need 4A, which means I need to scroll down and get a 4A. If I would need a 4A, I need a 3C, which means I just scroll the bottom and click whatever the bottom one is. It doesn't matter what the bottom one is. We're just going to keep clicking the bottom one until we get all the bottom ones done. After we get all the bottom ones done and all the recipes are selected in reverse order, so we take the crappiest item in and we loop it, loop it around from we go from silicon wafers all the way up to microchips, we should see that our chips slowly turn from... 
uh, white to slightly pink to slightly more gold to very, very gold at, at the other end because they have been layered multiple times in gold. Why is that? Oh, because that's the four beta four C. Yes. All right. So with that done, um, I then also want to plan around not using one machine. If I use one machine forever, it's going to take 12 minutes to process. If I could put three machines together, that means I could cut the processing time down from 12 minutes to what? Four minutes? Four minutes. Four minutes is way better. Four minutes is way better. But it also means that I need to work out my loop around three machines. Now, to do that, we're going to go with some very, very basics to start with. Uh, first off, I want to come out the rear and over to here. After I get over to here, I want a flat balancer because I want to... I need to bring the materials we've already got and loop them back around. I also need to bring in more wafers. So I want to have a priority in from the belt that's looping. I'm going to bring in some wafers in the front. Next thing I need to do is I need to make sure our microchips we're going to get out the rear. I want to bring them out of loop. So we're going to put in a flat sorter. I'm going to press F to flip it the other direction. We're going to put in a storage box. Uh, let's not be over the top. We're not going to fill that one. We can put a little one in. And we're going to sort out our microchips from the loop. So once microchips come out the last building, they'll get shunted out to left. They'll get put into storage and we can save them for later. Lastly, we need to remove this guy and remove this guy because I can't afford to run them at this stage. Eventually I will be, but not right now. So with that done, uh, the only thing we need to do is we need to get you your inputs and your outputs. Your inputs and your outputs are luckily pretty easy and we're going to dump you sure right there will work uh you need to have uh acid uh plus you need to have water plus you need to have copper plus plastic plus gold and we just need to shove them all into the same machine so we're going to plug that in there uh we're going to plug the copper into come on into there we're going to take the plastic and shove that in there we're going to take the gold and plug it into there. And then finally, the acid out from this, we're going to plug in here. Uh, at the end of the day, this is temporary. So it doesn't matter how much of a mess it looks. We're not going to be keeping this long term. Uh, in fact, I might just move those boxes up just a little bit. All right. With that done, we can then build this whole process. Now, of course, you're a pro 10, which means we need more teraflops worth of power, uh, which means I'm going to lose one of these guys as soon as you start processing because I don't have enough teraflops to feed everything. Uh, obviously, missing input. Oh, we need to get all the inputs done. All right. As soon as you get all your inputs, uh, then we're going to end up with a situation where I'm out of teraflops. Now, did mention earlier that this guy needs four teraflops, makes a whole bunch of silicon wafers. We have 52 saved up. Don't forget, uh, our 52 need to loop through a lot of times. Uh, for every three we put in, we're going to end up with six microchips after it takes 12 minutes. So if I have 60 here, that would be 12 minutes uh, multiplied by 10 loops of... Hang on, you need six, right? three uh if i had 60 here we'd have 12 minutes and 20 different uses of my silicon wafers to run through the loops uh hello yeah uh which means i don't need this machine running for quite some time so you have a couple of options uh you can pause this machine outright or you can drop the priority on this to super super low which means you're gonna be whoop you're going to be back up and running, uh, and you will turn off. Okay, that works fine for me uh, for the moment, um, or we just pause the machine. I prefer just pausing the machine. If it's paused, I'm not paying maintenance. I'm not paying power. I'm not paying people. Hello, sulfur. Anybody? Anybody? I have sulfur. Deliver. Import priority. Three. Go. You're holding up the whole video. Okay, after removing and rebuilding the machine, uh, or, or, or the tank, uh, everything is back to normal. We're making some acid. With some acid being made, uh, if I scroll down to the bottom, we're gonna see that this first recipe is gonna run. When this runs, it's gonna kick out our very, very first microchip. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a minute, literally one minute, to process through. After we've done that process, we're gonna have our very first 1A on the belt. Now, obviously a 1A is not a microchip, so it's gonna pass all the way back in. Because we have a priority here, it's gonna be fed into this loop first. The catch is um, balances have a bit of a buffer in them, so it's just gonna disappear Disappear off the belt entirely it's getting eaten and it's going to disappear where it's gone i don't know it's a special place but things do come back from a special place eventually uh we just need to wait a minute so with us waiting a minute eventually we'll have that one c come out and 
what I want to do is I well, one A one A come out. Uh, what I want to do is I want to B C. What what was it? I don't remember. There, there are one A one A. Excellent. All right. So I have one one A on the belt. Eventually, this will process through. Eventually, we'll start having some microchips. Eventually, we will start actually making some progress. Like I said, it is going to take some while, uh, a while. Meanwhile, you should have been making servers. You should have plenty of servers up and running. So you should be able to increase this, hopefully, up to... What am I aiming for? I'm aiming for about 20... 20 teraflops would be ideal 20 teraflops means i can run three of these using 16 teraflops and still keep one of these guys active don't forget these need uh, 80 construction parts each so i need to have 160 construction parts saved up you guys have been running for a while now we've got 118 it's a little bit short of the 160 but you know i i haven't been like diddling around twiddling my thumbs we've been keeping this video moving uh you have received your one a oh Oh, we already got 1B on the belt. So we're going to keep looping these around. Now, what you want to do is, as soon as you have some production up and running, you have some, some sort of stable production up and running, you have enough construction parts, what you want to do is you want to upgrade this build. You want to upgrade this build from rather one machine running everything to having three machines, each running the, well, one doing A, one doing B, one doing C. That's the plan. First off, definitely pause the game because you're going to be removing life belts. Uh, we want to remove everything between there and there because I built the, the the belt and I looped it straight back around. So I know my two machines are going to fit in here and here. I want to remove that belt. With that belt removed, I want to put in my next two machines up uh, there and there. Now, you are going to have some problems. We're going to have some serious problems with supply and demand and all sorts of things. First thing I want to do is I want to come to this machine and I want to start turning off recipes. I want to turn off anything that doesn't involve acid and water. Okay, you are going to be my acid water machine. I don't care if it's processing currently. I just want to turn it off. Second machine is going to be doing everything that involves plastic and copper. If it doesn't involve plastic and copper, we're going to be turning it off. Uh, last machine is going to be the gold machine because it likes gold. It is the richest one. It is the final one. It's going to be doing all things gold related. So with that done, we should have four gold recipes we should have four plastic and copper recipes we should have four uh, acid and water recipes we then take that belt plug that in there uh remove that remove uh actually just remove all of that and remove all of that we're gonna uni build all that and with the belts come on out of my way uh we're gonna plug you in there and we're gonna plug you in here now, we might have a problem with um, some parts that are processed, but then we can't do anything with, like this one here. I can't output that because it doesn't go into the next one. Well, actually, it technically does go into the next one. Uh, but I'm going to have like a copper and plastic, and I'm going to have potentially some microchips that have made it halfway through the process. Uh, the devs recently added a new button right here, which it costs you just 0.1 uni. It's super, super cheap to remove items that you uh, have in disabled recipes. Now, these are going to get shunted out to the shipyard, but then we're going to have the trucks bring them from the shipyard back to these machines. Uh, so I'm going to go through and just click delete on any recipe I can't use. Oh, and again, and again, and again. This one's fitting in all sorts of garbage from this belt. So we're trying to get down to the stage where it is only, uh, well, A's and C's and stuff. Uh, as for that, that looks fine that is only ever going to have a C on it, so it should feed in perfectly fine. This guy is going to take all our A's and turn them into B's. This is going to take all our B's and turn them into C's and loop them back around. As we can see, we have a 1C looping around, and that should be fine. The only thing I need to do is I need to turn truck import to auto and auto and auto, and then if the shipyard's set to keep empty, and it has some odds and ends in here, like if it happens to have a 3B, the trucks, because we only have a one belt here at the back, the trucks can drive up to the behind and drop those wafers into these machines to get them up and running. Which means that at this stage, you should be in a situation where you can keep adding servers without too much hassle because you're still now making some microchips. Eventually, it's going to take a while, but we've gone from 12 minutes down to what just three minutes three minutes to get six microchips that's that's two microchips a minute that's that's not bad which we can convert into two electronics which we can convert into two servers every minute it's not bad um and it should mean we can keep upgrading the racks to get more teraflops to expand this build which means 
uh, we have brought to, we've got to the end of, well, this tutorial video. This tutorial video, we've explained how uh, the, well, the teraflops work. We've explained how the microchip machines work. We've got a nice, simple little build here. It's a little bit of mess across the front, but it's a temporary build. You can build this into your existing infrastructure however you feel like. We have a giant box full of hopefully a lot of silicon wafers. If not, we can unpause the machine, top it back up, just put alert on here, notify me when you're full. Yep. Yeah. And hey, if you're down at 25%, tell me about that as well. Oh, look, down to 25%. We're going to unpause you. And we'll just keep going until this alert goes away and it changes to, oh, the box is full, at which point we'll pause it again. Uh, it means we're going to be a little bit short on computing power, which means this guy's not going to make any more construction parts, but that's okay. And we can keep saving up our construction parts to expand the build over time. But that brings us to the end of this little section. Now, if you didn't find the video helpful, you didn't find the video informative, it didn't explain anything along the way, it didn't show you how to put together a little build by this, like this, by all means, you can have your like back. If you didn't find this video helpful, maybe you want to check out the playlist down in the description or pin in the comments below. You may find a more helpful tutorial video in there. We've covered everything from nuclear power to you know, smelting rest, well, to, to uh, ideal, ideal and, and upgradable smelter designs to uh, everything everything oil advanced oil cracking all, all the things in captive industry uh at the same time i do want to mention that um if, if you want to stick around for a little bit longer we're, we're going to build a new build we're going to build a new build um using what we've learned here and expanding it up what i really really want to do is i want to expand from well three machines running at one third the speed to assuming we have all the tel teraflops available we're going to go full scale we're going to go big scale we're going to wish that that did not exist right there because uh, i'm going to have to spaghetti this in but that's fine uh we're going to go to well 12 machines, 12 machines making a six microchips every minute. To do that, uh, we would need to have, this is going to be important, we need to have four teraflops per one of these, plus 12 machines, uh, multiply by 12 machines rather, which means I need 48 teraflops worth of computing power. On top of that, uh, to run the silicon crystallizer, which is going to make sil six silicon uh, silicon wafers, but I'm only going to be using, uh, it's actually right there, I'm only going to be using three, I need to have a few teraflops available for that. I'm also going to need a shit ton of construction parts. Uh, in fact, we would need uh, 12 machines, uh, I would need 80 parts each, which means I need nearly a thousand construction parts for to get this build up and running along with the 96, um, 96, 48 teraflops worth of uh, server racks, server racks, uh, computing power, plus another four for the crystallizer. So couple of things we need to talk about uh first thing is we need to expand our server racks now the good thing about server racks is you can chain these guys together so we're going to build a second server rack in front of our first server rack at the same time we uh need to get more cooling because uh after we max you out at 48 servers just fill that up real quick uh you're going to use 24 chilled water which means you're going to run flat out which is going to be a problem. Uh, what we can do is we can just build these guys in parallel. Obviously, I'd love to put on the other side, but somebody went and put a sulfur bucket in the way because it didn't work first time around. Uh, as long as you have another supply of clean water, we're only using six per minute. If I just hook this up to a groundwater pump, which does 48 per minute, we can run a number of server racks back to back. But this will get us up to our first 48 teraflops. Uh, we need to have, what was it? 12 times 4. We need to have 48 for just those guys, plus another 4, plus another eh, 12. So let's go with let's go with 64. Uh, so I just need to add enough teraflops that we get up to 60. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, 64 teraflops. That should be enough to keep everything running. Uh, as we can see, we're now using a certain amount of maintenance. Like we're using 10 here, another 20, 23, 24 here. So we're now using 35 maintenance, which means we're definitely burning through one electronics three per minute in just maintenance. On top of that, uh, we're going to be using, well, we will have used a lot of microchips to make a lot of electronics three to make a lot of servers to get this build or get this build um. The computing power available for this build. Yeah, that's the words I'm looking for. All right. So with that out of the way, uh, what I want to do is I want to have uh, I want to have it's under this tab, right? I want to have a microchip machine. Yeah, microchip machine. Uh, and I want to build you there. All right. So I want to have a microchip machine doing the one uh, A recipe. Uh, actually, let's undo that. Uh, let's do one, two, three. Uh, and then three, and then three, and then three. Okay, I want to have you doing the one eight. Uh, 
Uh, the next row down, we'll be doing the next asset recipe, whatever it happens to be, 1B. Uh, you'll be doing the next asset recipe, and you'll be doing the final asset recipe. Uh, you will be doing plastic and copper. Uh, you will be doing plastic and copper. You'll be doing the third plastic and copper down the list, and you are doing uh, the last plastic and copper down the list. You are going to be doing gold. You're going to be doing second gold. You're going to be doing third gold and you are going to be doing uh, microchips okay if i bring up the overlays now we can see that this has become a lot easier to look at okay we need acid and water on this side we need plastic and copper in here we need gold in here really really simplifies things at the same time we need to build a whole bunch of belts i also need to get my output from this one into this one and into this one and into this one and then finally my microchips out the far end so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the belt right here i'm going to turn on r mode and f mode and we're just going to go up one tile Nice and simple. We're going to come to the second one. I'm going to come over two tiles, and then I'm going to come up to height number two and go over to there. Okay, that has got our gold, plus it's got copper, plastic, doesn't really matter which one. Uh, from this one, we're going to come actually right two tiles to the end of this little machine. Uh, oh, at height one. At height one. Then we're going to come, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. We need to go up to height three, and we need to step uh, as close to the machine as possible. They all do. And bring the belt over there. Perfect. All right. This side, we need to bring in water and acid. Water and acid is going to look like uh, water. Well, comes in here. Uh, actually, let's do it in reverse. Let's bring in our water uh, in like that. And then R mode and up one and ass. Whoop. There we go. Acid is going to plug into that one. Okay, so we've got water at the bottom, acid at the top. Uh, lastly, we need our output, which is going to come back in here and feed into our input. With that done, I can take the next one and push that hard up against there. I'm going to plug that in there. Uh, cut off the excess, and that becomes my belt and pipe combination to get each build done. So with that knowledge out of the way, we can take the existing infrastructure and plug it in there, bring up our next set of belts, uh, plug you into there and you into there, and then copy our belts again and plug them in like so. Bring up our next layer of infrastructure, plug that in there. Oop. Uh, one more tile and one more tile and that should be all our inputs and outputs are uh, accounted for uh, there's a couple more things we need to do uh obviously oh no actually i need to do the front row i missed the front row entirely that would have been bad okay uh you do not need to output anymore because we're going to be taking our microchips out of this direction where it goes, I don't know. That, that seems like a later problem. All right. Uh, with that done, we need to plug all our inputs and outputs together. So I need to bring in water. We're going to be bringing in water here. I'm going to be running from you to you and from you to you and from you to you. That makes things simple. Uh, acid. Uh, acid, we're going to be doing uh, from the top acid pipe. Yeah, it's all blue on blue, so it's a little bit awkward. To the next one, to the next one, and to, whoop, 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 to the final one. All right, with that done, uh, we now have a straight line of water and acid on the right-hand side, which means anything that sticks out past here, I don't need anymore. So we're going to remove that. All right, as for our belts, uh, our belts are going to be a little bit different. We're going to be running gold, uh, joined to the next gold belt. Uh, then we're going to be running plastic or copper, the either, to the next belt. Uh, I don't know why the game does that. It has something to do with where it's decided to put the supports and has a little bit of a connection and the support structures fall apart all right in that case if you're going to be difficult like that uh and it's only because i'm building things in ghost mode all right what we're going to do is actually yeah sure let's just build all of that we're happy with that so far all i need to do is connect the belts together so with real belts hopefully they don't fall apart anymore uh we're going to go from this one to this one and then we're going to go from the top one to the top one. With that done, I should now be able to copy that and paste it there. Did you actually fall apart? You did actually fall apart. Uh, you guys are not delivering things, are you? Please don't. Whatever. Go nuts, trucks. All right. Uh, fine. I'll try and do it without copy and pasting. Uh, there to... Oh god, this is why I copy and paste. Uh, that way the belts can't try and do special things. Nope, you still want to fall apart. Alright, fine. Have a new support. 
It's just the belt seems to be, for some reason, stretching a little bit too far and forgets to put in a support, and then probably falls apart when we uh, try and hook it up. But that's fine. All right, with that done, uh, I never needed these little bits sticking out the end, so we're going to remove uh, well, all of that and all of that. With all that removed and cleaned up, uh, we have a very, very tiny, very, very compact build. We're obviously still going to need our inputs, so we're going to copy this, and I'm going to put this... Uh, put those there and I'm going to put you on this side. Uh, okay, acid. Let's talk about acid first. First off, acid needs to plug into the water pipe. Uh, water pipe needs a water connection, which we uh, built on groundwater, so that's probably pretty easy for us to find. Next thing is our acid. We're going to bring this out and into the top pipe. If I turn on F mode, we can go over the front of the mixer without a problem. You are going to import sulfur and we're going to build those two. Next thing we do need is we do need the silicon crystallizer. Now, silicon crystal crystallizer, like I said, outputs six silicon wafers. Uh, the problem is you only use three. That is because this is a microchip machine. If and when we get to a microchip machine two, uh, you, sir, are going to take in six wafers, which means it's a one to one. Okay, so I am not going to do anything smart with this. I'm going to let this run full speed. You could, if you're desperately low on teraflops, you could put in a box here and run this for a little while, build up a few spares, run them in here, turn them off, turn it on, all that sort of stuff. In my case, we are literally going to build you right here. Uh, we're going to plug a belt from there to there. We're going to plug the longest water pipe in the world from there to there. And then that just means I need my box of poly, which in theory you deliver from a belt, but like, Test map. We don't have any real things on this map. It's all uh, it's all make believe. It's all make believe. So with that up and running, we would be able to have you get recovered, uh, recover harder. Cool. Uh, we would be able to start getting silicon wafers. Now our silicon wafers are going to come in here. They're going to go through the A's and the B's and the C's and blah 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 blah, and all the way out the other side. All we need to do is we need to hook up our outputs, uh, our inputs at this end, which means our gold comes in there. Our copper or plastic, I don't care which, comes in there. And our gold, uh, copper or plastic comes in there. And that becomes our final build. With our final build up and done, we are going to use the tiniest bit of our acid with the tiniest bit of water to run this whole system. We are going to use a decent amount of poly. Like to start with, it'll be nine poly, uh, which if we go to one of these guys, uh, it's, 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 it's not... It's not nothing, but it's it's close to nothing. Close to nothing worth of poly uh, to crank out our wafers. Our wafers are going to come into here. Eventually, we'll upgrade all of these to the next tier. When we go to the next tier, unfortunately, uh, the main thing that we're short on being the teraflops, they're going to want to use twice as much. On top of that, this is going to scale up over time. Obviously, I don't have any four A's to deliver into this machine. So it's currently not using any teraflops. Uh, I don't have any three A's to deliver, so it's not using any teraflops. It's going to take a while for all this to click together. Oh, that's your headlight sticking through. Sure, recover, recover. Just away from my build. Get out of the way. All right, so uh, you're going to process all the way through. Yep, uh, all the arms are running. You're going to process through. You'll kick yours out. You're going to process through. As we go up, um, well, every every three minutes or so, we'll turn on extra line. As we turn on extra lines, our teraflop, uh, our teraflop consumption will go up even higher. And at the end of the day, we're going to make six microchips per minute. Now, with our six microchips per minute, uh, we should be able to turn all six microchips into Electronics 3. Our Electronics 3, with us now making six per minute, means we could turn those into servers, obviously, for more teraflops, for more robotic assemblers, to cut down on our population. At the same time, we could probably get into Consumer Electronics. Consumer Electronics is another wonderful Unity booster. Also, good news is they don't go through laptops all that fast, um, so they do last a little while. Uh, also, we're obviously going have to run some of this in maintenance these are all luckily maintenance too so they're not too expensive but um well i did say that we'd added some teraflops with some servers so we're up to you know 30 plus running these guys uh 68 ah uh, because i didn't account for these guys yeah i only care if i'm running two of them but with that up and running we now have 64 teraflops worth of power being used we up to come on i need to see you are processing and you should be the last one oh 
I obviously... Oh, because we're also, are also running these three still. Which have produced... Well, 48, 48. We have produced some. They're going all right. They're getting there. Uh, the, 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 the build that could does could. Uh, but with that done... Uh, you know, I did account for you. Yeah. I can keep running three of those uh, at 64 teraflops. Yes, we should be outputting six of these every minute after the first lot outputs. The next lot's right behind it. Third lot, fourth lot fifth lot so on so forth so with all that said uh this is where we're going to be ending today's video it is this is my little build this is my little build that could at the same time if you're interested in seeing uh this with the grid overlay on and like less overlays i will be posting some high resolution images in my discord server uh, link is always down in the description it's probably on your screen right about now and they will be pinned in the captain industry uh captain industry channel uh last thing i do want to mention is don't forget on your screen probably right about now if not pinned down in the comment section below is a tutorial playlist if you want to see more Captain Ministry tutorial videos. Lastly, I will mention I do have a current active Let's Play, which will be building microchips tomorrow because um, it's coming up on year 1000, I think we're year 900 or something. And we're going for a rocket. We're going for a rocket. We're also trying to go for 100% sustainability, which means we're trying to stop mining everything on the island. We're trying. We're trying. But with all that said, I'm going to be ending this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right, bye.